here. Uh, we had kind of a unique situation happen this week. I wanted to bring Alex in. Uh, this is Alex Grant. He's our sales manager here at Senate House Buyers. So we have a guarantee in place, not just for the people that we buy or sell houses to, but for the people that we buy them from. So uh, we're gonna run through a little scenario that just happened this week and, and we wanted to give a quick update on it. So if we contract the house and we don't close on it, we have a guarantee that we will pay that seller since we couldn't close on it. We always tell them that we're wholesaling the deal. Side note, if you're a wholesaler and you're not telling clients that you're wholesaling the property, shame on you. You need to get on the game there. So Alex, real quick, the property was on Maryland Street. Tell us a little bit about the situation, what happened, and uh, how we made it right at the end there. Sure, so it was a young couple. Unfortunately, they were facing foreclosure. They owed too much on the house. I knew it was a tight deal going in. I knew we were gonna have trouble moving it. We weren't gonna make much of a margin anyways. I told them up front that I couldn't pay cash for it. I told them we were wholesaling it. I told them it was a stretch whether we were going to be able to close or not. They knew everything that was going on. I still guaranteed them 500 bucks if we couldn't perform in three weeks. Sure enough, 20 days later, he calls me up, asks me if we have a buyer. We didn't. He came and picked up a check that same day. It's that simple. And so what was the seller's, you know, obviously it's never good news when you say, look, I couldn't move the property. We're not going to be able to close on that contract. How was the conversation when you told them about us not being able to perform there at the end? They, they understood. I set that expectation up from the very beginning. Um, they knew exactly what was going on. They understood the situation and really there's no hard feelings. He's actually talking to his attorney to see if they can get a short sale. He said he's going to come back to us and he appreciated the honesty. Awesome. So guys, if you're getting, if you're new to this and you might be seeing some things on Facebook about how to you know buy properties and how to wholesale properties, things like that. If you're doing that, be honest with people. Set the expectation. Tell them the pitfalls. Tell them what could go wrong. Look, you should have good intentions. If you don't have good intentions with what you're doing, you shouldn't be in business. So if you have good intentions, things are gonna come up. Be honest, set the expectation like Alex was talking about, and you'll still be able to perform for that client down the line and be able to help them in some way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you want to buy or sell any properties, reach out to Alex, we'll tag him in the Facebook page. And happy investing, guys.